There are many ways to walk to Santiago. We opted for the popular Camino Frances route. We broke it down into 33 stages as this was all the time that I could take off work. Good morning from St. Jean Pierre de Port. Well, in fact, it's about a kilometre up from St. Jean Pierre de Port. Um, it's a gorgeous sunrise today. It's the first day of the Camino. Um, we are attempting to go up over the Napoleon Way to a place called Ronson Valais. Excuse my pronunciation. Um, arrived into St. Jean yesterday afternoon. Uh, got to the, uh, the hostel, which is really nice. Um, I totally recommend and just spent the afternoon exploring uh, St John which is quite a pretty little village. Uh, we've now set off this morning at 7.30 and uh, apparently today is the hardest um, leg of the whole journey um, so kind of bracing ourselves for that and uh, it's also going to be the best weather for the next seven days so we really want to get this part done um, while we can without getting drenched. It's about 25 kilometres and um, yeah, let's just, we'll see how we get on. Two and a half K up the Napoleon Way. Um, wow, well, it's uh, pretty steep. Um, and getting a sweat on already. And it's still only about five past eight in the morning. Gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning scenery. Uh, I think we've just decided that we're going to stop every 6k or something just to break up the 25 um, and uh, whew, feeling it already. Oh. Look at that f***ing hell. Sorry for swearing just then, but that landscape was that spectacular, it got me all excited. The way that the cloud clung to the hills below really was a spectacular sight, and I felt very privileged to be able to witness it. Five K down, still walking up the Napoleon Way. I'm so hot and sweaty already. I've got sweat dripping into my eyes and they're stinging, and it's only uh, 10 to nine in the morning, so really really important that we crack on and and get through this really steep incline before the sun gets too hot um feeling it now really am. Um, behind us is the most amazing kind of cloud inversion i don't know if you can see behind me um it's really gorgeous up here um yeah really really lovely morning so far Just had a one hour rest at Orison, which is a very common um, pit stop along the Napoleon Way. Uh, it's also a hostel there, and a lot of people choose to spend the night. Interestingly, a lot of people that we were talking to were kind of not regretting, but they felt like they could have carried on um, and were contemplating seeing if they could change their bookings um, to carry on over to Ronson Valais. Uh, it's about 20 to 12 now, sun's beating down. Not too many clouds in the sky to offer protection. I have put my sun cream on. Um, there's like loads of buzzardy type vultures circling us. Uh, an American man I was talking to back there, an Orison called them condors, which kind of made me laugh, but I don't actually know what they are myself, so I can't identify them. Um, taking on lots of water. This is actually really challenging, um, especially with the backpack on. I've still got two thirds to go. Um, I think we've only got maybe another three k's of incline until we reach the highest point. So I'm just gonna plow on and look forward to, to getting those over and done with.
12 kilometers in. We're still going up. Uh, oh my God, there's some like, wild horses and some sheep over there. Alex is having, a, I think they were rocks, like a mirage or something or some sort of vi confused vision. But yeah, we're still climbing up, hoping that that's gonna stop soon because it is very, very challenging, but it's so beautiful, it really is. I'm gonna show you some of these cows and some, some of the sheep. So uh, I was very optimistic when I thought that we might have reached the highest point. Uh, it turns out we have to climb pretty much an actual mountain now um, to, to get there. It's really starting to cool off, um, temperatures dropping and the wind is picking up. Um, we've just passed some beautiful wild horses again, uh, grazing in the pastures below. There's Alex up ahead, waiting for me. Um, getting some serious Frodo and Samwise going up Mount Doom vibes here. Whew, as you can hear from my breath, uh, it really is steep. So finally, the place where we're staying tonight has come into view. We're still about four kilometers away, but the monastery in which we're booked into uh, is literally in sight and uh, it's the most welcome thing I've seen in a long, long time. That has to have been one of the most grueling walks that I've ever done in my life. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm exaggerating, um, but it was really, really hard going and challenging. The inclines just seem to be endless. You turn a corner, uh, and, and start to decline a little bit and, and you think that's it, you get your hopes up and then you turn another corner and then you have to climb up again. It's been real hard graft. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm very, very sweaty and I'm desperate to have a hot shower and put some clean clothes on. So I'm sat here at the monastery hotel hostel thing um, in Ronsen Valais. All showered, clean, uh, really, really happy to, to get some non-sweaty clothes on. I can assure you walking around in sweaty boxer shorts half a day, not comfortable at all. The only injuries I've managed to sustain are a scratch to the back of my ankle and foolishly some sunburn on my left arm, which is really, really sore. When the shower hit that, I really felt that. And I'm disappointed about that because I did actually, well, I felt like I lathered myself up in sun lotion. We've got a um, booking for dinner at seven o'clock, uh, which is in a hotel on the same grounds here. Um, really, really grateful to have a bed to stay in. The hostel itself is very, very big. I don't know how many beds are here. There are a lot. And I'm really glad that we've booked in advance. I know some people frown upon that, um, but we did. Uh, there was quite a big queue to check in, um, and that's the last thing you want after walking for 25 kilometers than to stand on your feet in a long queue, which we had to. Uh, just one of those things, I guess. So we're gonna go and see what dinner's like. We paid for, they have like an option here where you can book for dinner and breakfast and even set you off with a packed lunch. And all the staff seem really friendly. So I'm very much looking forward to getting some food now and getting my head down before we start the next leg tomorrow morning. Thanks a lot for watching my vlog. I do have one for every stage of the way. So if you found this mildly interesting, then do hit the subscribe button as it'll kick me up the backside into editing and posting the rest of them.